Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Um, if you are a subscriber and if you're not, please feel free to hit the subscribe button below. Make sure you ring the notification bell so you can get notified of any and all new videos. So I'm coming on here today, first of all, to say happy Thanksgiving to all of my friends and followers out here. And I also wanted to say, I got the house. <laughs> we got the house, I'm so excited. I know I had a lot of people out here praying for us so that we would get into this house so we could get out of this area that we're in right now. And we got it. Um, God answered prayers. <laughs> uh, he answered my prayers and everyone else's prayers. And we got the house. I'm so excited. Um, we will be getting out of here as soon as possible <laughs> and getting into the new house as soon as possible. Um, we have like no help. We have like, <laughs> it's um, going to take some more prayers. So keep us in your prayers for um, finances and keep us in your prayers for maybe some help. Uh, we do have to get a truck and we do have to uh, get all the stuff in the truck. And then when we get there, get it out of the truck. So um, yeah, but I am very happy because we've been here for two years and I know a lot of you have heard me talking about the area and, um, you know, the fact that we, I don't feel safe, um, as a woman and me personally, I haven't gone out by myself here, not once. So it'll be nice to be in a small town, um. It's a Southern, very, very full of Southern hospitality. Um, it's very small. It is maybe, maybe a quarter of the, the amount of people that we have here. No, it's, it's, it's less than that. <laughs> but it, um, it reminds me a lot of the town that we lived in, in North Carolina. Um, it's small. It's really pretty from what I saw and um, the home that we are getting into is actually an older home it was built somewhere around 1905 um, it has some history and the landlord is actually um, he's actually like restoring it he is completely remodeling the inside he took it down to the beams um, so all new insulation, um, new walls, new floors. Um, he put a new tub in the bathroom and he, you know, like he's, he's doing all this stuff to make it look really nice. And, um, we're actually going to have a washer and dryer connection where I don't have to actually go out into like the rain <laughs> to do my laundry. Um, it has two bedrooms and then it has, um, like a huge kitchen. I don't know if you guys, some of you guys that live up north probably know what I'm talking about when I say like a northern kitchen or a farmhouse kitchen. It's it's like a really big eat-in kitchen. There is no dining room, but that's fine. Um, there's room for the table in the kitchen and the and the hutch and um, and the freezer. So we won't have any, any issues with room. There is also a two-car. It's like, it's a garage, but there's no doors. It's kind of like a carport, but it's like a, it's a separate building off of the, off of the house. Um, I mean, we did a walkthrough. He showed us the house. We saw it while it's still being fixed. And I still really liked it. And he knew that we really liked it. It has a, um, a screened in front porch where you can sit when it's nice outside to get some air um, without bugs. <laughs> so it's a very, very quiet street. Um, we were standing there with him, talking to him, and I was just like astounded at how quiet that it was. But um, this is definitely, uh, this is definitely an answer to prayer because we have been wanting this for a while. Um, I have no problems with the city that I'm in. 
it's just the location that we're in is really bad. Um, if we were in the north part of the city, we'd be better, um, more use, more like what we're used to, but it's too pricey. We looked and it's too pricey to live up there. So I was looking through marketplace and looking through, um, the one real estate place that I was looking through and I came across this listing and I'm just like, wow, I'm going to look into this. <laughs> so, um, I actually texted the guy and we ended up talking on the phone and we arranged for us to go out there to look at the house, which we did. And it just worked out. I mean, he had other applicants. He had other people. And it's just like it was meant to be. The guy's a Christian. So as soon as we walked in the door, like I heard the radio playing Christian music. And I'm like, that's a really good sign. <laughs> so um, this was just, it was an answer to prayer. That's the only way I can put it. He's not ridiculous on the rent. Um, He's more concerned with getting someone in there to take care of the house who wants to stay there. I'm like, we're, we're your people. <laughs> we're your people. So um, he said we were on the top of the list uh, so far from all the people that he had actually talked to. And he said he would let us know by today. So I messaged him to say happy Thanksgiving. And he messaged me back and said, happy Thanksgiving to you and your family as well. And then I, I just asked him, I said, so, <laughs> did you find it? I said, did you, did you find anyone that you like better than us for the house or do we get it? And he answered me back and he said, when do you want to move in? <laughs> so I was like, yes, I was all ecstatic. I was so happy. I'm still happy. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. Never thought I would be living in Alabama, <laughs> but guess what? That's where we're going to be living and that's okay. It's only, it's only about an hour and 20 minutes away from where we are. Um, went across the border and West. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to it. It's going to be really nice to be able to go out and walk and do things and, not have to be worried or not have to be worried about someone standing outside my back door when I went out. Oh gosh, that was crazy. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to let y'all know that, um, today definitely gave me a reason to be thankful and I did thank God for it. And I'm actually going to be doing a little bit of a, a teaching about this and how this relates to how God sees us and how we see us. Um, so stay tuned for that because I'm going to be doing it. I'm probably going to be putting it on this channel and the ministry channel, but I think it would be interesting for everyone to hear the way I'm going to put this. It's just like God kind of used this to show me something. And I thought of it and I'm like, well, you know what? That's a really good idea. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Um, we have not eaten yet and it is, um, 7:53. Dinner's in the oven. We don't eat early. Never do. Um, so we're going to eat dinner very shortly. And, um, I guess that's it. So, uh, I hope you all enjoyed your Thanksgiving because most people probably ate by now. I'm sure. Um, and I will talk to you all soon, very soon. Like I said, I'm going to get this, uh, this thing out there that I plan on doing about the house and, and us and how God sees us and how we see ourselves. Cause it has a lot to do with this house and how other people may have seen this house, but that I saw in this house kind of the way God sees us. So if you want to see that, let me know. And um, I'll definitely be doing that. All right, guys. I love you all. God bless. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.